Hi guys! So today is going to consist of me painting my nightstands. So, as I mentioned in my previous vlog that I had started a home decor page. So this page is basically me telling you where I purchased everything, if I refinished anything, if I painted anything, I let you know what I used, and things like that because I've had a lot of questions ever since I started posting stuff on my beauty Instagram. So I didn't want to mix the two things together. I thought it'd be great to have a separate home decor page and that's Herrera Manor, so go follow me. <laughs> but um, I bought these really beautiful nightstands. They're actually quite large, larger than I expected them to be, which is great because my bed sits really high, but they're wood. But I got both of them on, someone was selling them on OfferUp. It was either OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. Both of them for $30 total. So I got each nightstand for $15, which is insane. If I try to find, a, well, I've looked for black nightstands. The cheapest I can find one is about $100, which I'm not going to pay $100 for a nightstand. I'd rather get this one, paint it the way I want to, and then it look beautiful. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. This is not professional. I'm telling you right now, I am a rookie at painting furniture, but I've been painting, like I painted that china cabinet back there, and then I painted this whole tree right here, which it came out great. I'm sure if you're a professional, like, furniture painter, you'll see all the errors, but I mean, I was just doing it the lazy way. I was trying to find the simplest thing. I'm not going to sand it down because what I did was buy, um, the paint I use is Miss Mustard Seed. She has this whole line of stuff and then she has a bonding agent. Now that bonding agent is used so you don't have to sand furniture. I do, I do notice that it's better to paint when the sun's out. However, it's been so damn hot that I just wasn't gonna do it. I was probably gonna pass out if I did. Um, the paint just dries better. So I'm gonna see how it is because right now it's about six o'clock. The sun's still out. It's still pretty warm. So I'm hoping that heat will dry up the paint better. Um, but if not, then I'll know. So I'm just, I'm gonna start it off and then we'll see how it goes. So these are the nightstands I got. Um, I took one of the drawers out and put it on top. So one's going to go to Jay's side and one's going to go to my side, but they're absolutely stunning. They just got that vintage kind of gothic look, French provincial, which is exactly what I wanted. $15 each. You cannot beat that. So I'm going to take these outside. Well, actually, I'm going to take these outside first, take off the hardware, and then paint. And we'll see how it turns so out. So this is the milk paint I'll be using. And then I got more of the bonding agent. So the bonding agent, I ran out of quickly because I didn't follow directions. And I was actually um, putting the bonding agent into every coat. And I guess it's only for the first coat that um, you're painting. But basically you need to mix one part milk paint with uh, one part water. Let that um, whisk it or mix it for until it's fully mixed and then let it sit for 10 minutes and then mix again, mix it again for a minute. And then you're going to add this into it and the directions said to leave it sitting for about 15 to 30 minutes. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So it says to add the water first. The water. Pour that in. And then I'm going to dry this so it doesn't stick with the powder. Okay, so I tried my best. <laughs> it kind of gets messy, at least for me. And then I'm going to pour this in. And they say it's better to use a blender or a mixer, but I'm not going to do all that because, nah. So I'm just going to mix as best as I can. And just showing you now, it's going to be runny like this. Like that's just how it is. And you're gonna think that you did something wrong, but once you start applying it, it's actually going to apply really well. Okay, so now we're going to add the bonding agent. And I will tell you one thing, when you add the bonding agent, it kind of makes the paint look blue. And when I first tried this, I, I was freaking out. I'm like, wait, it looks blue. I don't want blue furniture. But um, I was reading comments because I was freaking out <laughs> and the comments did say it does turn black once it's it's dry so it's not gonna look like a navy blue so yeah just want to let you guys know that now it says to mix one part 
of bonding agent with uh, premix. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And this is actually like, it's kind of like Elmer's glue. Like if you feel it, that's exactly how it feels. It feels like Elmer's glue. I'm going to pour this in. And then we're gonna mix it some more. Let's see, I don't know if on film you'll be able to see how it turns blue, but yeah, you can kind of see it. It's looking like it's a navy blue. But that'll go away. So I'm gonna mix and then we'll come back. So you are gonna notice that it gets all veiny and gross like this, but you just, you're just you just gonna have to keep mixing as you're painting, just so the bonding agent doesn't start sitting on top. So these are just brushes that I got at Target, They're just paint brushes, and these work fairly well. Uh, that's what I've used for my other furniture, and I actually really like them. You could use um, a sponge, but when I was applying it with the sponge, I didn't like it. I love the way it applies with the paintbrush better. Okay, so here is the cabinet. I took the hardware off, and then I just wiped it down because I didn't want any dirt or dust. Um, the inside I'm actually not going to paint because I'm going to be putting some adhesive to cover up the wood because I kind of get grossed out with old wood touching my clothes. <laughs> so we're just gonna put adhesive covering all the corners, all the walls, and the floorboard. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the consistency. Right now it looks blue, but eventually it will dry black. And as I mentioned, it does paint better in the heat because right now it's kind of um it's not coming out as opaque as i would like it to but it's fairly simple So this is the first coat, see before it looked blue, and now it looks black. I'm gonna get started on the second coat. I'm supposed to wait two hours, but I'm too impatient for that, and I never wait, so. I'm All right, so here it is. So like I said, before it looked blue, but once it dries, it dries black. And there's still like certain spots right here that are a bit wet, or that looks like a water spot or something. But I'm putting hemp oil right now, so I let these dry for about two hours. You're supposed to wait 24 hours before you start coating it, but <laughs> you know me. I don't like doing anything correctly, so I'm already doing it. I'm too anxious and I'm too impatient to wait 24 hours. I just wanna hurry up and coat it. And it's gonna be fine. I know it's still gonna be fine, but look how pretty this is. So this is the black typewriter Miss Mustard seed that I used. And then I just put some hemp oil on it. So right now, it's shiny, but it's still going to dry matte. Um, but right now, I literally just put it on so it's wet. And the one that I used, I didn't use the Miss Mustard Seed one because that one was too expensive. So I got this natural hemp oil from Milk Paint. And this one seems to work pretty well. And to apply that, I did use a sponge because I just find that this is a lot better to use for the hemp oil. So I'm gonna be applying it. So you can see it's all shiny and pretty. And so I'm gonna wait, it says to wait two hours in between coats. And after I put this on, I could see certain spots that I missed. I just did two coats of the, the milk paint because I wasn't too, I didn't care about doing it so perfect because I don't mind if there's a little bit of wood showing through. I think it's just gonna give it a little bit of that classic kind of worn out vintage look. I didn't want too much of the chalk paint look. But here is the final product of me putting all the hemp oil. So I did something really stupid. I was so mad at myself. I freaking tipped the hemp oil over and it got all over my wood floors. Ugh, I'm so mad. So half of the bottle is gone, but fortunately, you only need a little bit 
to get all of this on. So I'll definitely have enough for my furniture, but I'm just still so upset that I spilled so much of it. So I'm gonna let this, this is definitely gonna need to, need to dry overnight and we'll check back in the morning to see how it is. Okay guys, so this is already the second day and it's still not dry. I put, so remember I dropped the hemp oil? So I started slathering it on all of the drawers, but that was a big mistake because now it like, it's taking forever to dry certain areas are sticky and it's not matte like I wanted it to be and that's because I just put way too much on it so the dresses are going to be shiny which I'm not happy about but I don't want to repaint them so whatever this is the first coat for the dresser um it's not fully coated because I just used whatever excess paint I had to paint this so I'm going to finish the second coat and then I'm going to use less hemp oil and if that works out better then I might repaint the drawers because I really 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 don't want them that shiny. Okay, so the shininess of the cabinets were really bugging me. So I ended up just doing a light coat over them again. And then I did a really thin, thin layer of hemp oil. And you can see the huge difference. Right now this is, um, the hemp oil is still wet. I just applied it. But you can already see that it's not as shiny as it was before. And then I put, I started coating it. And as you can see, the hemp oil is drying. So it's going to look matte the way I wanted it to. So yeah, the reason the drawers looked so shiny was because I doused them in hemp oil because I didn't want to waste what I had dropped on the floor. But obviously I didn't know because I'm not an expert at painting. Um, it left them super glossy, which I did not like. So now the hemp oil is drying here and it's leaving a matte look so I'm excited so here is the finished product I was so excited about it oh my gosh now that the hardware is was switched onto the black color it actually looks gold now when before it looked like a really dark kind of greenish color I guess you would say greenish gray color but now that it's switched onto the black it brought out the gold undertones in the hardware and I absolutely love it. So you gotta remember, like this isn't a professional job. It's just like someone who's super lazy, knows nothing about painting furniture that's doing it. So right now you can see a little bit of uh, shininess at the top. That's some of the hemp oil, which still needs to dry a little bit more and a little bit right there. But I just wanted to get it together already and show it off because I am so excited and I'm actually going to put I bought some lining from Target in here and I'm gonna put that in there just so our clothes or whatever we put in here doesn't sit exactly on top of the wood but just look how beautiful it came out it looks so good I'm so excited now that's the lamp I got so the nightstand sit pretty low um, next to the bed but I wanted them low because we have these tall um lamps so i think right there it's just the perfect height you could reach up turn it off and what i'm actually going to do is get some drapes or covers lampshade covers that go over the lampshades and they drape so it gives this very like victorian look and those i'm going to get on amazon so once i get once i get those i'll post those on my instagram but yes i hope you all enjoyed this little um sucky tutorial because <laughs> like I said I'm not a professional sorry I'm like so sweating our air conditioning went out in the house so it's been effing hot so bad I'm trying to get the right lighting okay yeah my face is super red and super sweaty because it's hot in this room just like the little five minutes that I've been in here it's freaking hot like I said I wouldn't follow my instructions because mine aren't professional and I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people saying you should have done this you should have done that but 
I was just winging it. I honestly didn't want to spend time researching. Like, I only did the least amount of research that I possibly could to kind of get things going. But I'm super happy with it. I don't plan on selling these nightstands. If I was going to do it, like, professionally and sell the furniture, then I would totally take the time. But... I don't have that kind of time and I don't want to do that. But that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye loves.